And maybe we can answer Mama Lama's question. You're going to get questions like this these days, aren't you, Bob and Viv? Uh, Mama yeah. Lama here. Hello from the east coast of the USA. Mm-hmm. Can you? A question here. Can you summarize the tax changes? Probably we can't do that live on air in an easy summary, no, uh, as no. it will affect daily purchases and monthly costs. Uh, would it be like 25% higher daily monthly costs? Well, the tax changes are to do with personal taxation and the NHR, not to do with either on purchases and monthly yeah. costs. Yeah. So, um, not, I think costs are going up for sure, cost of living crisis, mm-hmm. etc. But it's not that's not a result of the NHR. How has that affected your business and, and how you're working with people, Bob and Viv? Is it, have you felt a repercussion with the NHR? Yeah, people are freaking out. Um, <laughs> they're, you know, but we're just ca- cautioning them to calm down, calm down. Everybody's different. It depends on how much money you make, it depends on what kind of money it is, it depends on a lot of things. Go see an accountant run your numbers, not everybody else's, but yours, and see how it changes that it is not going to change much for us. Well, we get to keep ours anyway, because we already have it. But um, if we lost it tomorrow, it still wouldn't change that much. Our tax rate will not go to 48%. No, we, just we, don't, we don't make that kind of yeah. I think so, that's one thing that people don't realize is that in Portugal, income, you know, yes. earned income, or so your income tax, is based on how much you make and the percentage goes higher yes. the more you make. So it yes. goes from, I think, as low as 15% up to 40, depending on right. how much you're making. And I think a lot of people right. don't understand that. They don't and, understand that. And there's a lot of misinformation out there. It makes me crazy because everybody says, oh, it's going to 48.5% no matter who you are. It's like, no, it isn't. It isn't. Yeah. And there's, there's yeah, just like the NHR doesn't eliminate your taxes. That was another no. thing people used to no, say. No, it doesn't. Not, it doesn't no. mean you don't pay taxes. Everybody no. pays taxes. Right. Another aspect that that I've looked looked at was actually talking with uh, an American yesterday. We'll have to tell you what we did yesterday. It has to do with clothes and um, <laughs> and and animals and all that kind of thing. Really? But, uh, and they yeah. this as well. Pardon? The animals were naked. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They were. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> people in the United States don't. Portugal is actually more upfront, kind of, in many ways, because people in the United States don't have any perception of how much they're actually spending on taxes. And yeah. um, a few years ago, you didn't earn any money for yourself until mid to late May. And I don't know where it's at now. It all went to taxes up until that point. Yeah. And so people, because of the VAT here, they they think all things are sky high, but it's all included in the price. So it's it it goes back to many things with uh, mindful migration is mm-hmm. is um, your perception may not be the reality, yeah. and you can skew. <laughs> You can skew anything you want, you know. So, uh, but with with Portugal Pathfinders too, the other thing, as as all this is getting figured out, we're perfectly for, positioned for people that are already in country, mm-hmm. but grabbed that um, first rental they could find for their D seven, mm-hmm. and now are traveling the country looking. They want to move. We're, we're also perfectly positioned to show those yeah. people the, the north country of Portugal, mm-hmm. uh, along with a place to stay while they're here and everything. So we'll, you know, um, we'll just pivot a little bit as as things kind of flesh out. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, well, that's really interesting. Thank you for that. And I think um, you're right. Absolutely spot on there, Viv, about the uh, checking the, the, the well, fact checking yourself and your assumptions mm-hmm. and um I think you, you said something along the lines of perception isn't reality. Uh, and that's yeah. a difficult thing for human beings because we, we are we're bound to perceive, aren't we? That is how yeah. we see the world as a yeah. perception. Um, mm-hmm. And sometimes that can go a little bit wrong. And I, I think, you know, one of the, the worst case scenario is, you know, the, um, the pe- people. Let, let's let's take the example of Americans. And the first thing they hear is like, it's a wonderful place to come and live. And then some, somehow they hear that it's a socialist country. And that's like the first little shudder. Yeah. Well, I love it. You know, the food's all right, so I can put up with the socialism thing, whatever that is, and whatever that means. And it's like, and then they hear um, 
sometimes people get taxed 48 percent so whoa what 48 eye-watering percent of my money being taken away socialism right. big tax and then and then finally like you know a couple of weeks ago and now they're getting rid of the nhr run <laughs> <laughs> it's like ah, hey, it's a bad thing. Yeah, right. let's go to Portugal. <laughs> Get away from me, Portugal! How dare yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and all of those things are sort mm -hmm. of perceptive problems, aren't they? And as you say, it's progressive tax. Uh, the NHR got to mean something which didn't mean anyway. It was always going to end after ten years. And right. You understand the nuance of socialism here in Portugal. I'm not making right. this saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying it is probably different to how you might have perceived it or been brought up to, to view the word itself. So yeah, that's that's yeah. It's so true, Viv. What you say. A lot of what's gone on is just a challenge mm -hmm. to people's perceptions. It's, it, I guess yeah. it's perception um, fueled by emotion, isn't it? And then we know we're in. It trouble. is. It's all emotional, and it's it's. Oh God, I had it. Now they're taking it away from me. And nobody likes that. Nobody right. likes that. But yeah, it's, it's perceived it's as a good life. thing that's being taken away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Usually it's a good thing taken away, and then everybody gets all freaked out. But go to a good tax lawyer who understands international taxes and have them tell them everything about your situation, and they will let you know how it's going to affect you. And it may not be enough to even matter. Yeah, it may be enough that you don't want to do it, but at least you'll know. Yeah, at least you'll and know. You won't be going on supposition. And you assess it, you know, it's like, oh, well, this is more and this is less. You compare that to health care. You do all that stuff. Exactly. Gonna you're like going to save enough on health care alone to pay a whole lot of more taxes. Yes. Yeah. It's yes. just, it's all, yep. you have to look at the whole oh, picture. Well, it's like yeah. we can't say this message enough, can we? So I hope that helps uh, you, Mama Lama. So we didn't answer your question directly, but yeah. I mean, nobody can answer that. that. We don't know how much it's going to yeah. go up day to day or month to month. Like, we don't know. And they're also going to be people out there, or if it's going to go up at all, we don't know. Yeah. And there will be people who are looking for reasons not to come, and that yeah, could be it. it. Will. That mm -hmm. could be it.